I'm back for another first impression review. These are the newer lip products from LA Girl. They're called the Matte Flat Finish Pigment Glosses. So the company sent me all the colors and I got so excited when I saw the word matte because that automatically means long lasting and I absolutely hate having to touch up my lips. Packaging definitely caught my attention because they're fat, like they're literally fat jumbo. <laughs> so although it looks like there's lots of product, it's actually like your typical amount of lip gloss. So if you see the bottom, the circumference isn't really that big. It's kind of like an illusion, but it looks fun. It's definitely easy to find if you're looking for it in your bag. Okay, on the website, it says that it's an intense color with a flat finish for all day wear. So let's just test this out. I'm not gonna put all these colors on my lips because they are matte. It's gonna be like crazy to remove. So what I'm gonna do is just do a bunch of swatches on my hands and then from there I'll choose which lip gloss I will use on my lips. Most of the colors were pretty opaque. There were several that just kind of didn't go on as smooth, like this second one over here. Um, all the names I'll put in order in the information box down below. So if there's a specific color you like, you'll know exactly which one in order. Gorgeous colors, I think they're really vibrant. And the one I wanna wear on my lips today is this shade. It is so beautiful, it's like a deep berry. This one in Backstage. So it looks like your typical doe foot sponge applicator. It already feels and looks like it's just like a lip stain. So I'm gonna give this a minute to set and I'm gonna apply another layer. You could already see some of the colors setting. That is pretty. No transfer. Slightly sticky, but we're gonna do our second layer. I'm trying to get this at the really deep shade because this is the true shade that I want. It's not going on as smooth as I'd like. As you can see, it's kind of like, it's like the lip gloss keeps slipping and sliding every time I try to distribute the products evenly. I'm gonna let this set again. And this is like about three layers. I'm gonna put one more application. See what I'm saying? This is like disaster, it's not working out. It's like this gloss doesn't want to be a true color. <laughs> it is not letting me evenly apply this, even after I let a layer set. So I'm gonna try to remove this and apply a different color. Makeup wipe is not working. I'm gonna use an oil-based makeup remover, and this is a Clinique Take the Day Off. Wow, talk about stained. I really want to go with a deep color. Let's do this shade right here. And this is Rebel. Yes. One layer and it's very true to color, so I like this shade already. It's been about two minutes and the gloss has completely set. I think it's funny how they call it a gloss because it's totally not glossy. <laughs> Lightly tacky, but not annoying. Like. I just like how it doesn't transfer. So I'm gonna go on with my day. It is just about 12.45 in the afternoon. It is just about 3.20 in the afternoon. And so far the lipstick still looks amazing. It pretty much looks like I just applied it like a second ago. I think the only thing I'm surprised by is how tacky it is. It's not too tacky, but if you can see it, my lips. A little bit. I did eat and I drank lots of water. My girls were stuffing apple slices down my mouth and that was, I was kind of worried because I thought my lipstick would come off but it didn't budge at all. It's definitely, as of this moment, smudge proof. It's kiss proof. So I kissed all my babies and my husband, he loves it. Oh, look, there's not even any residue left on my hand. I did use an oil-based makeup remover and you're definitely gonna need something oil-based, even if it's extra virgin olive oil. So anyway, that's my quick update. 
it is just about 5 in the afternoon. So there's just one little change I've noticed on my lips and it looks as if I'm wearing lip liner. And I believe this is because the product is still a little tacky on my lips and every time I'm talking, the lipstick just stuck on the outer corners. Other than the tackiness, this is fabulous. I love the color still and the consistency is still transfer proof. Anyway, I will check back at the very end of the day. Just about 9 in the evening. Now you can tell that the lipstick is wearing off. It wasn't until I had my dinner I had salmon and rice and asparagus. So that was drizzled with a little bit of butter and oil and because it was a little greasy, some of that oil removed the lipstick. So just keep that in mind if you don't want to do touch-ups. Overall, I think it's a pretty awesome lip product depending on which shade you choose. I really enjoyed the shade Rebel. It's something that I would wear again. So pros, awesome color selections. There's a variety of colors. The price point is great. It's only $5 online. It is pretty long lasting depending on what you eat throughout the day. And I love how it is unscented. So cons, a few of the shades are streaky. And I'd have to say that's about the only con. So overall, I think it's an awesome product. Thumbs up if you found this review helpful. And also let me know in the comments below what video you would like to see next. I'll catch you guys later. Bye.